Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for April the 27th of 2020, well, it is titled Fresh Tiger Stripes on Saturn's Enceladus. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the moons of Saturn known as Enceladus, and it is a very interesting one. And we see two very distinct types of terrain here. On the right-hand side, we, and towards the lower portion, we see a lot of craters. And we see very few craters on the remainder of the moon. Now, craters can tell us some things about the surface, and what they mean is that an area with a lot of craters has been exposed to space for a very long time. So it takes a long time to develop that many craters that show up uh, in the uh, on the surface of an object. So an object like our moon with a lot of craters has a very old surface, whereas our Earth with very few craters has a much younger surface. So here we're seeing two very distinct, great distinctions right on this one moon. One part of it is rather old and the rest of it is young. Now, the blue are, is highlighting what is called the tiger stripes, and those are sort of cracks on the surface of the moon, and material is able to spew out of those cracks from the interior. Now, while we look at this moon, and we may look at it as being rock material, as we're used to thinking about from, say, our Earth or our own moon, it is actually all ice, in fact, primarily water ice. So we see all of this here is ice, including the cratered regions, and icy material can be expelled out of these cracks from the interior. And that actually creates one of Saturn's rings, known as the E-ring, is actually comes from particles from this moon. And one of the things this tells us about this moon is that there must be liquid water down below the surface. With no atmosphere, there cannot be liquid water on the surface, but there is liquid water below, which leads us to the possibility of life. Could there be life down below the surface of some of these moons in the outer solar system? And some of the uh, studies of the material ejected from this have shown that it contains very complex organic molecules. So very uh, large combinations of hydrogen and other compounds that are related to life, although not confirming any kind of life exists here. So they're related to life uh, molecules, but just all organic molecules are not definitely not living molecules. But some of them are the basis and the building blocks of what makes up life here on Earth. So the fact that some of these exist and that very complex molecules exist here may give us some ideas that perhaps there is life down below the surface of this moon. Now, of course, one of the other things that we look at is... Why is it this moon that shows this interesting activity? Whereas not all moons show this, and in fact, even um, Mimas, which is very close to Enceladus and very similar in size, seems to be a completely dead moon, geologically speaking, heavily cratered and little sign of activity, such as the cracks that we see here in Enceladus. So interesting that, that two moons, very similar and uh, close around in the same planet, that one would show such activity and the other would not. So continuing to study these may help us to begin to find, uh, continue to find evidence as to why these moons differ and may help us eventually find evidence of some kind of simple life elsewhere in the solar system. So that was our picture of the day for April the 27th of 2020. It was titled Fresh Tiger Stripes on Saturn's Enceladus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be an almost solar system. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.